to the Dallas Fuel. Look, they're both undefeated coming into today, Rose, um, in these uh, in these qualifiers, in the Summer Serenade qualifiers. Right. The San Francisco Shock still on a ridiculous win streak. They could be 18-0 in the regular season yeah. after today. Can the Dallas Fuel stop them? Questions up in the air right now. I think, regardless of like uh, what the desk, you know, it being uh, shock across the board, including the Pickums, I think a lot of people will be voting. I would like to know the percentage of Pickums who vote for Dallas, who vote shock, because like Danny said, it's also pretty hard because we're in regular season. Shock yeah. been undefeated, so no, it's, it's so tough. True. But I think this match is a lot closer than uh, what it appears on paper. I think so as well, and like I know we can all joke around, but it is so tough to pick and predict a winner of this match. I mean, the, however you slice it, San Francisco Shock has been incredibly consistent, especially with how fast they've taken some of these matches. But Dallas, you could also argue that they have a pretty iron mental. I was looking just at the historical data from this stage alone, and yes, Junkertown is in fact <laughs> a factor, but it's also interesting <laughs> to note that Dallas Fuel has dropped one of every map type and it's been very inconsistent in that regard so dallas have to have a strong mental to come back from something like that too that's fine sometimes you need to be knocked down to get back up and reach higher heights right so losing exactly. one map every single map type kind of makes sense yeah let's have a look at shock though let's have a look at their starters for today but i can guess everybody else could guess that uh their starting five will be these guys on your screen. Yep. Violet Finn, Kalush, Proper, and Kilo. Man, they have been looking unreal, surprisingly. Still undefeated, like I mentioned, 17 0, could be 18 0 after today. And they picked up and on the desk. The big matchup right now is going to be Proper versus Sparkle. Two unbelievable Genji players, some of the best in the league that we have. And yeah. it's been just exceptional to watch proper come in as a rookie and perform like this and everybody not even we haven't even reached the playoffs yet and never like, nope he's mvp like he's just that good he's mvp uh, he's, uh, he's uh, rookie, uh, rookie of the, of the year. year like <laughs> give him all the accolades already because of how well he's been doing but it is just unreal the performance this guy has been having it that is the one factor that i think does sometimes skew the perception that shock will win this match right and it's because of the fact that proper can have these individual pop-off performances that can just cut through any team literally any team doesn't matter who it is so maybe it is going to be dallas that has to be on the receiving end of some of these giant dragon blades well, let's have a look at Dallas. Sparkle, Edison, Hunman, Fielder, and Gio for today's starting lineup, but no Doha. And yeah, Sparkle was someone that was, uh, I think Custer talked about it, but since 2020 or like even 2019 when he was on Element Mystic, uh, how hyped up this guy was. Like the bidding war was going crazy to sign him and it was insane to see someone that had so much hype come into, um, come into the league like that, but we are two years in to Sparkle's, oh no, th I guess three years technically, 2020, 2021 and uh, 2022, over Sparkle's like legacy that he's building within the Overwatch League versus Proper, who's like just started his within the Overwatch League, like he's mm -hmm. insane. And for them to both meet in the last match, they'll both play against each other on uh, the, in the Summer Showdown qualifiers, both being undefeated is just, just absurd. We're, we might see history in the making here if the Dallas Fuel manage to take this one. We are going to Elios as our first map, Rose. And like you mentioned, no junk town, so, you know, you might be good. <laughs> yeah, maybe Dallas Fuel will be fine. That seems to be the bane of their existence. Every time it's in the map pool, they always drop that map. I don't know what it is about that map in particular, but I do know that there are two pretty distinctive play styles between San Francisco and Dallas. And talking about this is why I would push a little bit more of an advantage towards the Dallas Fuel in this matchup. San Francisco struggled at the beginning of this stage. And a lot of it came down to them not playing together as a team, still relying on these giant individual hero moments with Proper, with Kilo. Um, but Dallas Fuel, yeah, okay, they struggle a little bit too. But this composition plays so much like the Zarya comp that they ran through kickoff clash with. They can just death ball it and go from there. Or, you know, Sparkle, I think, is also competent enough to play by himself to really enable some of these larger group engages. Five, four, three, so just right, a bit let's more open consistent. the ship doors. 
Is Eddie going to stay on the Ash? Looks like it, yeah. So okay. Ash versus Kilo's Sojourn. Kind of seeing that, though, you know, you get high ground. We kind of talked about this before in the in the first map. But as long yeah. as Edison can stay up here for free, the Dynamites just provide so much value. And, like, who do you have to send after? Yeah, how do you dislodge him? <laughs> it's always a tough one, because he can just coach gun you away as well. Could this Shock have to actually make a move here? The Dallas Fuel have sent two people behind the Shock right now, and you can see the Shock just carrying in cage. Spark was going pretty low, though. Should have Deflect taking a little bit of damage. Point is unlocked, and it looks like Violet is going to be there to cap with the help of Proper. Dallas Fuel now making their move in as they send Hump into the point. Disruptor Field comes out. Meaning Shock almost grabbed that point for free, and in fact, they do, but Kilo ends up going down. Spark with the first blood, but oh, what a dash from Proper. Triple headshot with the Shuriken straight into the dash, but Sparkle finds three reset kills. Maybe even a, a fourth. They make that four kills. Okay, give him the fifth. Not quite. This Harbin takes care of Kaluge, just like that, if you'll find a flip. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you kind of have to allow San Francisco Shock to take the point because you as a team are not set up to engage just yet. So waiting for some of those more important cooldowns to come back online so you can have the deflect available for Sparkle, just so you can go in and try to mitigate some of that damage. But whoa, look at this. Uh, San Francisco Shock, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna be coming back, but like, it's a little bit of a split here. Oh my gosh, Violet Ooh. gets so low. Uh, Sparkle's down. Yeah. Filda and Shio both fall pretty low. Couple of headshots there from Edison, but no extra damage to follow that up because Sparkle wasn't alive to follow through with a couple of shurikens, a dash to get those resets. That's what you need. You need your Genji to be alive. Blade available from Proper. Regardless of those five or four kills Sparkle got earlier on, Proper's been farming the front line of the fuel. Look at that too. Just kind of dodging out that oh. knife. Bob? Da Bob on the point, getting the cap. Okay, you like to see it. Okay, the San Francisco Shock a little bit worse for wear. Look at that dynamite damage from Edison. Just kind of insane. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> little boot kill onto Proper, and that'll be it. Oh, 25% oh, from that dynamite. Edison's already gotten back a quarter of the bob. And Sparkle as well has had enough time to build up to a Blade 2 without Proper using his. And so this is going to be a crazy battle between these two Genjis. You've got double support ultimates on either side as well, just to be able to help sustain so this next fight could be a lot of alts being used at once. How oh, the overclock too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Overclock, blade for Sparkle. It's gonna overlay it with the beat. Every support all of it used. Proper trying to find some damage. Oh, he's found Edison. Edison pretty low. Just get taken out by Proper in the end. Coach gunned away from somebody and fell right into Proper's waiting blade. Gets a reset off of Fielder. Make that two. Shio dead. Sparkle falls. Proper with four kills in that fight. And shot by the flip. Wow, the Finn just coming in so clutch there as well. Do you see how low Proper got when he was going aggressive against the Dallas Fuel with the blade? Finn was always there with a cookie, ready and waiting to make sure that Proper could stay up and get all of those picks. Now, uh, what an interesting time we're in, because now that everything else is off the table, it's just rampages, but Edison opening Ooh. up with a huge pick. Yeah, big neutral fight start from Fuel. Like you said, only real rampages coming up. A couple of percentage points away from either Junker Queen. Very close flip there for the Fuel. They're so close to grabbing it. The Shock have 78% on the board. There comes the Rampage, hits four. Kalush setting everybody pretty low, but the Dallas Fuel able to hold off long enough to get healed up. Harbin used the Rampage of his own and hits Proper and Phyla, but Proper still fans the kill onto Hanbin somehow, some way. A knife off the map for Kalush. He tries to chase Chio away from the point, but the Fuel all the meanwhile did manage to cap. Finn with a couple of whip shot kills, maybe off the map, not entirely sure, but he still found the damage. Violet laughing in chat yeah, as the shot that. recap is 85% and building. Dallas Fuel have one more fight in him and Harbin's gone through. Okay, well, Harbin has to get back. And so I think this actually works out well. You're on Lighthouse. You have a lot of open space behind you to try to get a boop. Edison as well has the bob. He's Dallas Fuel just, they're waiting. Oh, the last second. Does get on it. Will it help his sparkle? Oh, oh Edison's bob. <laughs> it fell off the map. That's not good. One all. Just gone. And so is Edison's life. Died in shame by the looks of it. 
the Dallas Fuel. Now the health bar's dwindling on the point. Harbin took care of one, but now it's on to Sparkle. He's 20% away from that blade, so it's more of a neutral fight for the Genji, as Fielder earns himself a rally just in time. He manages to pop it, give over health to Chio just for like a brief second before Kilo deals with him. Overtime is still ticking down, and Chio is being an annoying little wasp on the point, refusing to go down. The San Francisco Shock have got the damage, they've got the numbers. Harbin may be back, but Sparkle's not alive to use that blade as the shock take map one or round one 100 to 89 this is the type of series that we're in for jaws that was so back and forth and it came down a lot of the time to you know who's getting that first pick but also who wh where's the value coming from the, i know we talked about the proper versus sparkle head to head but what about the kilo versus edison that's something we need to take a look at a little bit more as well, as Finn just changed Ooh. Bob's trajectory. Oh my oh. god. Goodbye. I mean, that is a round winning boop there yeah. by Finn. That is crazy good accuracy on the whip shot. And yeah, knowing that he, Edison's obviously trying to plant him in the corner too. Jesus. What a legend. Love that. All right, we're going on to Ruins. And it's still on the uh, the Ash Rose. Yeah, he is. Uh, I, I, will, I also like that San Francisco used a Symmetra Teleporter to get out of spawn a little bit quicker. So we saw Dallas Fuel actually have to use the Commanding Shout to get this movement, but now Shock has one to answer with. Double Commanding Shout. Oh, Harbin screaming at the top of his lungs for health. Probably just deals with them quite handily. Those disruptor shots, especially in these uh, small corridors, like it's insane damage, plus the slows, very, very annoying. Shock end up finding the first cap in this round. They will find the first cap. I like the Symmetra Strat, and now they also get to play really aggressive. They're already on top of this temple, and the uh, agency that gives to the Shock is just so big. You can just jump down here. Proper as well, just kind of keeping everything on lockdown. I, now you get to just pincer. That dynamite oh, damage is crazy. Probably gets about 10k damage deflected there. Sparkle coming up big. Jeez, it really has been the Sparkle show on the side of the Dallas Fuel thus far. All right, cap for Fuel. Maybe Shot couldn't touch. No, they don't want to. They don't have Kalu, so yeah, just backing up for the time being. It's always going to be back and forth like this, though. That's what we should expect from this series. And when you look at San Francisco Shock now trying to come back into this one, Kilo is looking to try to get a big pick with the Sojourn, but also, oh no. Oh, wow, just loses the straight up 1v1 there. Sparkle pretty low, does need a pack. No, Violet's there to get it. Oh, got pooped off. Oh, and then Shio gets a boop onto Finn. Okay, that's not great uh, if you're the San Francisco Shock. Nope. Nice boot by Chio. He gets a fair bit of ult charge, but it's almost tied with Violet there. I wanted to bring up Rose because Edison has been doing an insane amount of damage. Sparkle's getting the final kills, but Edison doing 34% of his team damage right now. Compare that to Kilo, who's only doing 22% of his team's damage. Edison almost got 3k more damage than he does right at this very moment. Yeah, look at this as well. Edison, though, has the bob ready to go. Just throws it down mid. Yep, he's good. Bob gets beat as well, mind you. Bob ain't going down without a fight. Blade from Proper. He's found Sparkle, but Sparkle hits the deflect to stop that Blade doing anything. Proper gets out of here just in time, but no, he's getting chased by two members of the Dallas Fuel. He's still not gone down just yet, but as soon as the deflect runs out, Sparkle ends his life quick sharp and now pulls a Blade of his own. He's got Finn in his sights. The rally means nothing to him with a Blade that sharp. Kilo falls and the Dallas Fuel still holding on to the point. They are going to keep it, and now it's one fight territory by the time that San Francisco Shock get back. The rampage from Hanbin is looking really good right now because Kaluj can't contend with it. And if Kilo doesn't get a chance to get set up with these sight lines either, then this overclock is not going to be nearly as effective. You can see that Dallas is trying to close the gap a little bit to make sure that they mitigate that sight line. Oh, Harmon, using that shift, come up. Where did he go? Not sure. He actually, did he just get booped off the map by Finn midair? I don't know. We'll have to get a replay of that one. Overtime is here. We'll get back to this fight. The shock do end up capping. I, ju I swear, I just saw Harbin fly through the air and Finn got a kill with the shift. Man, uh, we okay, see something replay, insane. Here's replay. the replay. God bless observers. Thank you so much. Oh, no way did that just happen. Turns into a helicopter.
dives off the edge of the map, throws a knife. Han been pretty pissed with that. He oh did get the kill on the proper after he hit it with the rampage, but Finn, what an absolute nutcase. Why? Th that's twice now. The Bob, Han bin. What is next? If we go to a round three, I, I feel like it's going to be someone else big too. Oh, we might not nice go. Nice ultimate by Kalush too. Yeah, might not. 70% for the shock. Finn hard carrying his team right now. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, how different does that last fight look if Hanbin is able to stay on the map and actually utilize the Rampage? Now, I mean, it's it's really coming down to the rallies and the, the support ultimates coming online. Edison, with one more beefy dynamite, could get this Bob online, and then it's all about the sustain, getting Fielder and Chio to those support ultimates. I mean, you said it and it happened. He's already got that Bob now available. Go straight to that column. Okay, Bob on the point, actually contesting for the Dallas Fuel right now. Vilo ends up going down to the Bob. It's 99%, remember, for the Fuel. And they do end up finding the flip. Now it's up to San Francisco. Shot to come back and Sparkle finds the difference between Proper and him. Rally comes out for the Fuel. They're keeping this competitive. They're going to take this round. We're going to round number three. Just like that. <laughs> Knew the series is going to be close, but I didn't expect it to be this close. Still Edison with an unreal amount of damage right now. He's sitting at 10k damage, 34% of his teams. It's proper that's pulling the, the, the big weights right now for the San Francisco shock side. He's about 30% of his team's damage. Yeah. It is ridiculous stuff. We're going on to well, which means Finn probably going to have an even better time. Oh, there's, Finn there's and Geo. Pit of despair <laughs> in the middle. Hey, Finn and Chio both about to have the time True. of their lives. But Finn specifically, okay, uh, we got we got the Bob, we got Hanbin. What else you got here, Finn? Who else is going off the map? Okay, Dal Dallas can't play near the middle. It, it's just not. No. That's too, Only that's play so cage. Risky. <laughs> yeah. Only play cage. Oh, but San Francisco just beat them there. Yeah, they did. Like a small little TP out and a little speed boost. Oh, wow, okay. And, and look at this Dallas as well. Like, they really oh, don't want to... Who have they trapped in spawn? Who, who, oh. I think they trapped Kilo in spawn. So it's only four players from the, from the San Francisco no, shop right now right. in this small little rumble. The Dallas Fuel are going to take this with uh, with open arms. Finn ends up going down first. Violet chased. And Sparkle once again comes up big with these final blows. Kilo finally makes his way to the fight and trades uh, a kill with Han Bin, but with uh, Dallas Fuel support on the point and Han Bin being alive in the front line, that's gonna be a Dallas Fuel fight win. Well, how did how did Sparkle get back there to keep Kilo in check? Like, did he just bypass the rest of the shock, recognizing they were in cage and then just went underneath the lighthouse? Like, I don't, how interesting. That puts so much advantage for the Dallas Fuel as well, where they're going to start outpacing a lot with these ults. Fielder's going to be the first one with an ult online. Oh. And that rally can really help to snowball if you're able to get that overhealth on really fast. Edison's going pretty low, but yes, Spark again. Oh, up into the skies. Small anime battle. They're both pretty low. Probably now full HP as he gets a, a small little pack there from Finn. Sparkle using Deflect. Still, Dallas Fuel in control. Kilo now switching over to the Ash, by the way. Yeah, he's had enough of the Sojourn. Not finding as much value as he really wants, so matching Edison in the 1v1, but he's so far behind the Bob percentage. Look at Edison, 4% away from calling Bob onto the battlefield as the Dallas Fuel are going to continue to control the point and uh, control the tempo of this fight, too. There comes the Bob. Beat from Vila, but that overhealth. It's disappearing rather fast. Edison taking over this fight as the San Francisco Shock had no say whatsoever. And we're almost in final fight territory, Rose. Yeah, we are. I mean, the Bob, the rally, that's been enough. At least San Francisco Shock have Finn's rally as well. So now when they come back in, they can use the overhealth and then just combine that with Proper's Dragon Blade. Give him all of that overhealth. Oh my oh, god, Kilo! Kilo! Kilo, Kilo. What? Kilo! Oh, Kilo didn't get health in time. He just burnt basically to death, and Edison oh, just found Dallas two quick Fuel's kills onto Kilo acro. and uh, Violet. I don't think they can even touch. Yeah, Violet's the only one with speed. They have so many boosts, and Sparkle standing in front of them with a the blade. They're not going to be able to touch the point at all. Oh, Edison comes okay. up massive at the very end. Well, I guess they get proper on there, but they're already dead. Overtime dwindled away, and the Dallas Fuel off to a flying start. 
that was a very different look for this series. The first two rounds looked so close. But then all of a sudden, Dallas, they did some, they, they just pulled some tricks. They pulled the hood over the eyes of the shock. Keeping Kilo in spawn and then just rolling through with the rally. And, and then I don't know what happened in that final moment. How did they not get healed? Maybe they used their packs already. I'm not sure. All I saw was that dynamite and yeah, a couple of them it. just not getting healed quick enough. San Francisco shock end up going down on Ilio. Stalas Fuel with a very real up, uh, re very real chance of causing an upset here. I want to call this too soon, but we're going to go on to hybrid. Parisio is our next map. We'll see in a bit.
Dallas Fuel off to a hot start, taking shock all the way to round number three on Ilios. Heading to Parisio is our next map. Oh boy, oh boy. So obviously a ton of highlights there, as we always do from like Sparkle, Edison, well, uh, Sparkle, Hardbin. Uh, Edison, of course, only just joined the team, or as of recently. So he's not, not in too many of those uh, trailers, these the official matches once anyway. But um, yes, Sparkle versus Propel is kind of the, the big match that we kind mm -hmm. of set up for this, but Sparkle just edging in front of Proper ever so slightly in terms of damage, but uh, in terms of like efficiency with blades and stuff, I mean, Sparkle is just going crazy. That's something that we see a lot, and like this is what I was alluding to with kind of the Dallas versus Shock style of play around the Genji, is I feel like Shock have maybe struggled a little bit more to change that play style to fit the composition, allowing Proper to still do proper things. But when it comes to Sparkle, I feel like even when we were looking at Sparkle's Genji included into Dallas Fuel earlier on in the season, it's always been about team-centric play. So Sparkle can identify these moments that Dallas Fuel has carved out for him to go in and finish things up. But it was just one map, and we have so much more to see as we look ahead in the series. Yeah, Edison was also kind of lighting up that game too. Like his Ash looks kind of crazy dynamites. right now. Dynamite's already good. His damage overall is is really sick. Uh, Kilo just didn't really hold a candle to him in that last map, and we saw him at the very end switch over to the Ash uh, to try and match Edison in the in the one v one. The Sojourn just not working out for the Shock, and it looks like they're going to stick with the Ash on this map. I think the Ash makes sense, and, I, you know, it's not even about kind of the damage anymore. I think sometimes it's always also about having to play the mirror against your opponent when they're getting so much value from the Dynamites. You you kind of feel like, oh, well, I should also. Um, and I think on this map in particular as well, when you have these gorgeous sight lines and high points, use the Ash to be able to take advantage of the height. To both right, teams let's see how uh, Dallas Fuel want to take this high ground, like you said. Yeah, both teams are running Ash, so it's a bit harder for Edison to get an angle, of course. The Shock do have that high ground almost permanently, so they give it up. Nice bit of dynamite damage. Prop already going pretty low, but Kilo just being harassed by Sparkle on the side. Just permanently, it feels like Geo and Sparkle or just Sparkle on his own is trying to shut Kilo down. Maybe one of the reasons why Edison had so much damage. It's just Sparkle's proficiency at just that. Sparkle's pretty low, no deflect, and Proper just takes advantage of that. Dash is straight into him, cleans him up. Look at that, Kilo, yeah, woo! All right, Kilo might have heard what you said, Jaws. I feel, I feel like mad. Kilo's like, come on now. You should be. <laughs> I'm angry. Gotta, gotta out-diff Edison, but at least Dallas Fuel, can go back in and try again. Fielder, oh, look at this. Like, all of the healing that Dallas has had to do for their DPS after taking so much damage, Fielder is outpacing Finn right now towards this rally. And if this keeps up and Fielder's the first person to get an alt online, that rally could be huge for Dallas Fuel to capture this first point. Oh, Gracie goes a little bit wide there. Is Hanbin just content with ignoring Kaluj as he stares him right in the face? That Gracie did land. Hanbin did get pulled towards Kaluj, but Kaluj and the rest of the gang taking a little bit too much damage. They're actually going to forego the high ground now, so the Dallas Fuel can set themselves up there. And Edison, more importantly, rally utilized by Fielder. Finn 20% away from his, and the San Francisco Shock know it. Patiently waiting, they end up backing off, but Kaluj, not with the rest of his team, gets caught out, shopping for some veg. And Edison takes care of him and will take care of this point. The shock with two members left alive have to back up. There you go, that's the rally. You get it on early, you're able to take control. So at least the shock can go in with a rally of their own now without the fear of having to, you know, use it later to have the sustainability advantage. But they also have a bomb. So shock really in a pretty good position right now to keep Dallas Fuel from progressing any further. But at the same time, depending on when Kilo uses the Bob, Dallas Fuel could just kite away from it. Oh, oh what a shot. Reset, though. Okay, he's warmed up. He is warmed up. So he's hard to hit Genji, especially like the animation of Genji. Sometimes he does the little, uh, does the little spin. Oh, dear. Trying to take the 1v1, loses it. 
Not sure how much of a 1v1 that was. Chia was shooting too. There's the pop. No pop for shock as Kilo's dead, but Proper still pulls the blade and takes care of Edison. A little bit more even now, but Edison's Bob says no. Finn ends up running into it and ends up going down. The San Francisco shock just waylaid by this Bob. They have to back up. They do have to back up. I mean, now the Bob too, though, from Kilo, that's been preserved. So. That could help, actually, with getting Shock this really nice defensive hold. So if Dallas Fuel continue to push forward towards the end goal of that second objective, where Shock are set up right now, the Bob, if it stops Dallas Fuel, actually gives Shock such a nice defensive hold point. You just get to hold around this corner. You can keep poking away at the Fuel before they even get there. Oh, poor Sparkle, though, gets so low. Oh, he's good. Okay. But to be fair, yeah. I'm all. I'm also always scared. We saw. We've seen it a couple of times already today, but of not receiving healing when you're you're burning alive. All right, Sparkle pulls out the blade. Sparkle in the back. That's one boob gone. Finn managing to stop Sparkle getting any more damage done. And uh, yeah, the bobs. They're pretty good. Six man on the field. Does the damage necessary? Good counter to the blade, though. To be fair. Um, it's not like a long time counter, but like at the end of the day, you pull that blade, you, you don't want to use deflect super early, and the Bob obviously being almost perfectly accurate, you, you're <laughs> without nano, you're pretty much done for. Yeah, that doesn't like work out too, too well, but hey, you know, at, at least now Dallas Fuel get to come in with their own things. I'm looking at the Rampage, really. I, I like Fielder also has this rally, so if the going ends up getting tough for Fuel, then they have that as just kind of a nice engagement tool or like a, a panic button. I don't really There's know they need it though. Oh, Ahmed throws out the Carnage, does end up swinging a miss. Edison already picking up the kill onto Violet, wow. The Dallas Fuel's ultimate economy looking rather good. Only use that rally. They have harm bins alt proper getting away or somewhat. But no, Sparkle takes care of him in the end. Kind of a big stagger kill. They're not going to be able to come back as five. It's going to be a four man push onto oh, the payload if this. they want to contest. But no, yeah, you're right, Zoros. They do have that quite easily. And now with the rampage in their back pocket, Dallas Fuel looking good. I mean, even a few staggers. I mean, yeah, they can just get to chase everybody down in this area. Hanbin too, I, I think it's really impressive that Fielder once again could utilize this rally to bolster the team enough to just win a team fight outright. Especially when there's no answer from the shock. I mean, that's just an easy value per ultimate there. But it allowed Hanbin to hold on to the rampage. Fielder's already 50% towards another one. And you also have the Chio sound barrier. And this cart is about to round the corner and enter the final stretch of this map. Bob has arrived, and so is the damage. Edison in such a good position to just kind of destroy uh, the San Francisco Shock if they're not careful. I've been hopping on one of those boxes. The Rampage hits, and it hits three. That overhealth is still building, and Harpin's actually isolated himself. But it doesn't really matter. There's so many people chasing him. The Sparkle is just handling the back line with absolute oh. ease. Three kills for the Genji. Almost make that a fourth if Proper goes down as well. Yes, he does. Shock, they've got a blade. They might have a Bob. They're going to have that beat for this last push. Can the Dallas Fuel, who almost have matching ultimates, beat them out in the neutral? They're going to have to. I, I, but I mean, a San Francisco shock as well. They'd made the, make this maybe not a neutral fight. The Bob here from Kilo. There's the blade. Bob comes out. The beat used by the San Francisco Shock, but Kalush is already pretty low. Proper cleans up all with the blade, but they don't touch. Finn ends up getting boop killed by Chio and the San Francisco Shock, who were so low, had to back off to spawn. Kalush went um, like sub half HP, so it felt like he had to go back, get full HP, come back out again. And they don't manage to get back to the payload in time. A minute and 19 seconds on the clock for the Dallas Fuel. Wow. That is a lot of time to work with, too. I, I like it ends up being just enough seconds over that minute mark that maybe you get two attempts. Maybe you're able to build up to a rally, especially with how fast Fielder has been getting them. Then if we go into extra rounds, Fielder almost certainly will have a rally online and we can see how impactful that ultimate alone can help you with that first engage when it comes online. But man shock 
that that feels so bad to to watch that at the very end there. I don't know how much of it was maybe Fielder and Chio CC effects trying to keep them away from the point. But it like the the second point got sunk in. Maybe Shock could have gone for a recontest there, but it, you know the fact that they got staggered. I don't know. I feel like it led to Shock struggling to get back on their feet. Okay, here's a replay. Da Bob gets. Oh, he boops him up to the high ground. Bob was just casually taking a little sit. And then Proper's Blade. Yeah. Oh, Geo. I mean, maybe they thought the Bob was still on the payload. Not sure what the, uh, the I guess, the thought process there was from everybody. But Fielder with a nice little boop on the Bob stops him from contesting. And they get that payload in. Wow. All right, then. I mean, and now we've got a look at San Francisco Shock completing the map with time left in the bank. Because oh. anything, uh, yeah, anything at all will be good. Zero, overtime is just not going to cut it here. They've swapped nice sides. Uh, yeah, nice consolidated effort to get on the point. Dallas Fuel, I'm going to take that too lightly, though. Look at them all cramped up in that room. That's a perfect dynamite location. Everybody burning down. And now it's the cleanup for Fielder. You see how much old charge Edison got there from one oh dynamite? It was about 25 plus percent. It's just so much damage. And plus the carnage, too, the axe swing from the, the Junker Queen. Yeah. Yeah. AoE and Brig, too. Oh. Think about how much AoE is in their comp. Oh, well, it's dead. Okay, well, I mean, Rip. it's just it's just buying some time off at least. Violet is speedy. You get to come back. It's way more detrimental for Dallas to lose a player here because that is definitely something that Shock will move on. But as of right now, I mean, the poke damage coming out from Dallas when you are running the Ash, like Ash has been such a dominant part of a poke comp. It's because of how much dynamite damage you get. Also, just the consistent headshot damage. Edison is absolutely hitting those shots. The, the, the Bob, the, the Blade, it's already online. The Bob, the Blade. There's the Bob, there's the Blade. Sparkle saving that reset to make sure he can get on top of Finn after his shield bashes away. Does pay for it with his life. But there's so much damage and a Bob holding down the points. Look at Edison, not afraid to get in the face of the San Francisco Shock right now who have two minutes to go. Half the time bank disappearing. Oh, okay. Kilo still manages to get the kill on that. Maybe a bit uh, over ambitious there by Edison. Maybe a little bit, but I think that Edison still has the ability to get back before the Shock are going to get there. But if not, Shock have to use this opportunity. They have the rally advantage and Proper still has the blade. But can Chio hit this sound barrier to stop it? Oh, there's the beat from the fuel. Oh. This could be go time for Proper, but Finn is already dead. Same with Kaluge. He has to. Proper's perfect this. window to go in is just shot completely in his face. Is Sparkle getting the kill onto Violet? Of course he is. Why am I? Why am I even questioning that? And with only a minute to go, the San Francisco shock, even with a almost player advantage there in that push, end up having to go again. They have both DPS alts, though. They're going to have the Rampage as well from Kaluge. So this is a great way that if they're able to withstand the Rampage from Hanbin, they can go in with their own, use those... Oh, what? Four-man Rampage from Hanbin. Oh, Did no. not see that coming. But the San Francisco Shock somehow still survive, And they kill Sparkle, of all people? That is not the way the Fuel envisioned that going. I'll tell you that right now. Kilo doesn't have an ult, but Proper does. They could end this fight here. The Fuel have very little in their ult bank. They get Rally at the very most here, it feels like. Edison on a nice little high ground, but there's only a tick on the point for the Shock. They've managed to pull the blade and kill Filder, but Kilo is now dead. Their only damage dealer left is Proper, but he's still managing to find these picks. Shio on the point, donates himself to the ult bank of the San Francisco Shock. They finally done it, but in OT was this point capped. Okay, well that's... Oh, not quite. Oh, Four there we go. Again. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean... The, that. This is... This is... Influential for the rest of this map now. Dallas Fuel ate off so much time off this clock that if San Francisco Shock doesn't play this flawlessly, even if they complete this map draws, it could be an overtime. That is not something that Shock want to deal with because it means they don't get another attempt. It's just Dallas Fuel and they have a minute and 20 to just capture 33%.
I know I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's focus on this next stretch of the map first, where Kaluj did get a chance to hold on to that rampage, and Violet also has a sound barrier. Kaluj needs to set the pace of this, though. And Shock just overall cannot take too much damage entering into this stretch. It's definitely easier said than done, though. I mean, these dynamites from Edison, he's playing Sniper right now. He's even got that bob online. Look, another oh, huge dynamite. Huge. Yeah, he used the bob instantly. Does get booped, but not to the point where it's off the map. In fact, Hilo takes a lot of damage from the bob. Bob gets booped again and Violet dies to it. Jeez, Bob, uh, yeah, he may be getting booped, but he's still getting kills. Edison is just putting an up an absolute showcase of a game on Ash. And with a minute to go, Rose, look at this. They're just going to hold close. Why not? I mean, if, you, if even if you... Oh, maybe not. If, uh, well, it, it's like, a, it's risky. It's risky. The card is still in a position that if Dallas Fuel were to lose out immediately, maybe they get a chance to go back and contest. But I, if, if you go for the close hold too, you kind of force Shock's hand to have to use ultimates to get out of the gate. And then maybe you go with your own. But I think it was too risky with where the card was. Play from Sparkle, did get booped. He's got the commanding shout though, takes care of Kilo. He's hunting through the streets. He can't find more, but <laughs> look at that. He gets booped up again, straight into the face of Finn. Oh, a little bit worse for wear. Kalush hits two man with the ult, and there's a beat from the San Francisco Shock. They want to keep this going as they just push on forward to try and take care of Chio, but he uses a late beat, and now Finn ends up going down. Shock have 20 seconds to go, and they're down a Brig and a Junker Queen. They got to reset. They got to go again rather quickly. They've got a blade to do it with, but they're against Harmbin's ult. Yeah, and the fact that you saw Proper just retreat all the way back to spawn, he did not want to get picked there. He has to come back. Even Kaluj feels the pressure coming back on the Doomfist. Nice knife. Okay, they do end up getting back in time, thanks to the Doomfist and the Lucio but not exactly the ideal tank pick right now. They're gonna have to make do. Good little boot from Violet. He does get anti, but he might be able to get away. There's Proper with the blade. A nice little shift from Fielder, but not enough to push Proper away and get the resets. Kaluz does go down to Harmbin. And remember, Dallas Fuel have spawn advantage right now and have both supports alive. Geo does end up falling over, but Fielder just kind of handling himself in the corner. Perma packing Harmbin to keep him in this fight. Fielder eventually falls, and now it's Harmbin versus the world. The shock end up capping the point again in OT, and the first point was almost in OT as well, which means they have very little time left in their bank. Only a minute and 20 seconds to go. This is what I was worried about, Jaws this might not be enough time for shock to capture with even a second remaining and then we have to go into one final round where it's all on dallas fuel who wins or draws this map but, but shock at least they look set up for success here they have the bob the rally as well Ooh. from finn great engagement tool here as long as nobody gets picked from shock this could be good what an unbelievable disengage there on onto proper jesus didn't see that coming good shot by edison and now he's lining them up to knock them down a couple of right clicks 40 seconds to go the shocks still have uh, a decent spawn position and a lot of ults to spare double support ult and bob can be deployed 30 seconds though uh, this is still tough rallies to start double rally look at shios and uh Spark, uh, Sparkle's positioning right now, or well, they were together alone, but Sparkle looking to try and make a, a play for the rest of his team. That Bob gets pushed back and actually around a corner, so not very effective at all for the San Francisco shot, but they do manage to take the high ground with it. There's 10 seconds to go and Sparkle has the blade. Oh, the blade has to be used now from proper. That's who's got to use it. Get some value done, but it's overtime. We've already entered into that territory, Jaws. Shock have to finish though still to, to have a chance to draw this map. Violet's got the beat to counter that sparkle blade, so forcing that early is the best uh, the best case scenario for the Dallas Fuel. Reflect use pretty early from Sparkle, but he's still going to use. Uh, he's still going to go in. Oh look at that! He doesn't even dash in. He knows Violet's going to use that blade, so he just fights on the payload. Kalush is very very unhealthy right now, but Edison is taking care of. Proper's blade doing the damage. However, Sparkle doesn't quite escape Kilo's wrath. Overtime is here for the shock. A three-man rampage is hit by Harmbin, but it doesn't stop San Francisco from claiming point C. Might have been an overtime, but that's as good as you're gonna get. They 
are playing for the draw right now. That's that's the best they can do at this point. But huge kudos to them for finishing the map. It felt like the entire time, Jaws, their backs were just against the wall. Every single point was overtime to capture. They were just getting outpaced sometimes with some of the alts that Dallas had. But despite that, they have persevered to put themselves into this position. They just have to withstand Dallas Fuel's attack. One minute 20. That's what's on the board. This is their toughest opposition in the qualifiers to date. It's One shots. minute and 19 seconds. And we saw how quickly Dallas Fuel ended up capping last time. And if Edison can get some dynamite damage down or even get a pick off, they could be good. Kilo's doing the same thing. Uh, on the d It feels like uh, on the offense, maybe running the Sojourn's good. You can play a little bit more fast. But on defense, Ash sitting all the way at the back. Very much a flavor of the week or a flavor of the series so far. We'll see if that actually translates later down the line. After seeing both the Fuel and Shock playing Ash, I wonder if we'll see more Ash later. I think I mean, so. Up for, up for debate, for sure. Definitely from Toronto. That, that tends to be the trend. Yeah, I mean, uh, Toronto's already pulled that up too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, he's good. Yeah, I just think got a little low there, huh? Oh, Finn? Finn's pretty low too. Violet is in alone oh, in the corner. No. Gets the commanding shout just in time, but Kilo's already dead. So much damage now, lost for the shock. The Dallas Fuel can push in without fear of those dynamites, and they're huddling around that uh, fruit store again. That isn't once again comes out with big picks. Violet's gonna go down. Commanding shout's not enough to save his life, and the Dallas Fuel are just gonna run over San Francisco. Their defense paper thin, and the Dallas Fuel are one map away from disrupting Shock's reign in the regular season. They could make history here and stop that record. They very well could. We are on that match point. And this is going to be an absolute bloodbath for this final map, Jaws. Everything is going to be put on the line here. Oh my goodness. Can the shot come back? Iron Mental is what they need right now. We'll have to jump to this quick break. We'll be right back after this.
of talent on their roster that can't be denied. Some of the most hardcore carry performances that I've ever seen. This is going to be a wild ride. Somehow Vile's gonna come to the rescue, get a double kill. Palou says, uh, how about that one, uh, Chief? Yeah. See you later. Kill Dude, his end. aim is so crispy. Man, does it miss those? Holy cow. Sam straights the back line, insta-killing. Oh, Mikey! San Francisco, the greatest team in Overwatch. We are less than a week away from Canada's first ever Overwatch League tournament. It is going to be crazy over there. Toronto Define are hosting the Summer Showdown presented by Bell. That's September 8th to the 11th. Come and experience eSports Live. Play some Overwatch 2. Come join the party. There's going to be a ton of stuff to do there. And maybe maybe meet me and Rose. That'd be cool too. Oh. And uh, be sure to check out the Bell Fan Zone for the best seats in the house. You can, uh, yeah, make sure you go check out the Toronto Divine Twitter. They'll have all the details too. And the Overwatch League Twitter as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Now, the stakes for this match. Yes. Yes. One of these teams will secure... The number one seed going into the tournament, but the overarching stake rose. Dallas Fuel, they're one map away from breaking history. The Shock's unbelievable 17 and 0 run in the regular season, plus some extra regular season wins from last year. Their run could end right here. And if you told me coming into this, we'd see a 2 and 0 for the Dallas Fuel straight up, I would have called you a liar. I would have also not believed it. I, I'm not going to lie. I think Dallas, I predicted Dallas Fuel like 3-1 or 3-2. <laughs> like they were going to drop a map at some point. I just I thought it would have been sooner, <laughs> I guess. But I, Essen has just had an unbelievable game on the Ash yeah. so far. Sparkle on the Genji, making some good highlight plays. Finn on the other side of things has also been quite exceptional on the break today. A couple of cool boops. That will be in the highlight reels forever. The Junk Queen flying through the air like an attack helicopter. <laughs> that was All right, we're going great. on to Dorado though, Rose. His, uh, <laughs> could be the final map. Number one seed after this uh, series will be designated to either Shock or the Fuel. No substitutions either side. So same old 10 people in the server. I mean, San Francisco Shock have not wavered from this particular lineup of five at all this stage. So this is what they're comfortable with. This is what they've been practicing. And for Dallas Fuel, we've, we've seen, I think, uh, like a couple of changes in the DPS lineup. But other than that, like they, they really found their groove with this particular five. And why would you switch it out, right? When they, like Sparkle and Edison are having incredible games so far today let them like stay on that role that momentum like you talk about that a lot with like widowmaker mentality but i think also like if you're feeling yourself on the genji and the ash you just stick to that i don't think we'll see edison swap off of the ash i also don't think kilo is going to switch either to be fair he was playing so much sojourn and now very much happy with the ash pick oh they're worried about somebody and who is it it is sparkle on the sidelines of course. But you can just hear the Genjis throwing right clicks at each other permanently. Ooh. Nice little reset there from Proper. Didn't receive a pack in time. A dynamite signaled his death. This is a big back off time for Dallas. I don't know if Hanbin, who might not get away with his life, but he does. You just have to wait at this point for Sparkle to come back. Oh my gosh. Okay, no. This is this is just dominoes now. Yeah, you can't lose any more here. You get a pick of the other four, it's great, but yeah, they can't overextend, they can't pick their heads out. And Kilo has a good position too, he can just set up wherever he wants to. Yep. Are the Dallas Fuel gonna contest? Edison 60% on the Bob currently. Yes, they are. Commanding shout to put them on the point. Sustain through some of that damage, the dynamite damage more specifically. Oh, Finn's super low, hasn't got a shield left, and Sparkle ends up cleaning him up. Only a couple of meters, pull that payload locked in for the shock, but they're gonna have to back off now. That dynamite's too much damage, and uh, a shot to the knee. 
You a Kalush, and he dies. Talus just stops the cart meters away from being able to actually grab that first objective. At least Shock, they have walked away with a bunch of ultimate percentage. But once again, dis despite the fact that Dallas had to back off so much and give up so much space, guess who's got first ult on board? It's Fielder. This rally, again, could be just a such a huge ultimate to keep building momentum off of. Oh my god, Edison is the Bob too. Yeah, Bob rally, both support ults. Bob comes out first. Oh, Kalouj actually just got booped into the rest of the Dallas fuel. Wow. Didn't expect that Bob coming out either. I think it knocked him up a little bit. San Francisco Shock pushed all the way back to spawn. Dallas Fuel's ultimate economy has been looking rather good. In fact, to be fair, both teams, some of the reasons they're so good is uh, their ultimate economy. Shock have shown yes. that week after week after week. They almost have five. On the paper, uh, on the paper now. And well, it's the the thing that I think is most impressive about their alt economies is that their patience to use the things that they have. Both rallies. There's the Bob. Can it be dealt with? Geo kills it. He's actually just going to use that beat at the end. There's the double beat, and there's the blade from Sparkle and Proper. All ults used at the same time. Is what other blade comes up biggest? Proper's found two, three. Harbin dies. Sparkle couldn't quite replicate the same success on this point. Proper with four kills at the end. Kilo finishing off Chio with team kill for the shock as they push that payload in. Absolutely massive. I mean, this is exactly what we want to see from the shock. Proper really stepping up here and also stepping forward. Look at how far forward he's positioned on this high ground that Dallas Fuel really want to try to grab from him. And I think this is just one of the smartest places to play if you're Sparkle as well. If you notice how he's been using these walls, just kind of keep climbing and trying to watch all of these angles. This also gives such a good vantage point to Edison as well. But you've got to check absolutely everywhere. Shock could come in and surprise you from behind the church as well. Oh, Kilo, look at Kilo. Coach gun, somebody boop him off. He could. Oh, oh, yeah, he did just that. Oh, he boot filled a straight into the team. Oh my god, what a play from Kilo. He does get matched though. Harvey jumps down, uses a rampage. Kalush is going to do exactly the same thing. And it's a quite an even trade, but Fielder and Sparkle, the only ones left alive, so they're backing all the way up. What a heads up play from Kilo there. You called it proper as well, Rose. You called it properly as well, not proper as in the play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just like, you see that get set up sometimes, and you know, it looked like it was kind of trying to go after Hanbin, but yeah, Fielder getting dropped like that, it was like, you know, dropping somebody into a field of sharks. They smelled the blood in the water, and they absolutely went for it. Dallas, though, they did get a chance to back up, but oh, the fact that Sparkle is down now, Shock could totally snowball this player advantage. Right where it counts, Master too. Lion, Edison's Bob. Oh, Kilo takes the skies. There's the Bob. Coach guns away. Survives just with the help of that commanding shout. Bob's on the field, suppressing fire as Kilo shoots through the railing. Spots Chio, but has to go for the reload instead. Rather unlucky timing on that ammo capacity. And now Harbin, isolated on the point, goes down. Now the shot. This is who we thought we'd show up. Three minutes uh, for point C now. Way quicker than what we saw them do on Parisio. I mean, Sanford, we talk about Dallas Fuel having an iron mental sometimes, like, you know, taking an L on a map and then going, yeah, okay, like, let's shrug it off and let's go again. But Shock also, think about the number of Map 5 series they've had that they've still been able to clutch out. And even when their backs are against the wall, they come back confident and with a game plan that speaks oh. so much volume to their skill. Wow, these knives have been so good from Kalouz. See that? Knife round to Harmon, he falls down to the floor. They almost capitalized on him, but he had the rallying, or the commanding shout. They both give out health, you know what I mean. Oh, Edison dies, there's the pop. Dallas Fuel on their last limbs now, without Edison, who's been the majority of their damage through the series. They might be in trouble. Proper's even got the blade, trying to chase down Sparkle. Not quite a 1v1, but now he's gonna pull it as the D Dallas Fuel needs to get onto the point. He's just gonna play gatekeeper that whole time. The San Francisco shock, oh, quite a lightning's pace. Two minutes and one second in the bank. Dallas Fuel had no say in the matter in that final fight there. I don't know if they had a say much at all this map. They just 
kind of got rolled. <laughs> this is the shock that we wanted to see. And I think, you know, as it's a testament to just the individual skill level of the team and also the coaching, you know, San Francisco shock still so impressive that they have this undefeated record with a huge team overhaul. That is something that will constantly blow my mind. And they've come back from O2s before to get reverse sweeps, and they look really, really good right now. But can Dallas Fuel also match that? Like, we, we got another round, we got another switch here. Let's like a replay. Oh, oh, oh it's here's the, the uh, boop. coach gun. Boo! Yep, and Fielder tries oh, to shield bash on top, but. Oh man, what a play from Kilo. Even gets the kill onto Fielder. That really opened that second point up. Yep. Not every day you see um, an Ash taking that kind of position and then going for <laughs> a coach kind of all plays, but yeah. Brilliant. Mad props to Kilo. Absolutely brilliant. He's been a bit, he was a little bit quiet in the first two maps, you know, with the, the Sojourn and then switching onto the Ash. Edison was very much doing more damage than he was. But little plays like that is. One of the reasons why Shock have been so dominant. Yeah, they, that, that's the coaching, right? I think that's just also identifying some creative ways that they can play the mirror and creative approaches to some of these game plans. You know, we talk about that with the Florida Mayhem as well. The creativity they showed in their last match last week. You sometimes got to try to carve out those little advantages oh for yourself. God. Okay, Finn. Woohoo. Violent speed momentum there. Jesus. You see Sparkle didn't even expect that either. He actually no. got moved away from the spawn doors. Harmon's super low. <laughs> yeah, Sparkle just kind of chill. <laughs> I mean, who's look at this. Who's on attack and who's on defense? Who's on attack and who's on defense? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Prop is dead. And Dynamite landing on four people. Ah. Edison's Bob generation pretty pretty good. Same with Kilo, though, to be fair. Oh, nice little double shot on Kilo. But nice stall from uh, San Francisco. Good to take that close hold. I, I, I mean, we're seeing this way more classically on these escort maps. Usually you would see the defending team hold, like, here, where the card is rolling under right now. But unfortunately, that close hold doesn't actually buy more time for San Francisco to come back and recontest. Because Dallas basically just get this entire first point for free now. Edison 20% above Kilo right now in terms of ult charge. Does get pulled towards Kaluj after Gracie landed. Fielder as well. And the shock might need to go Super Saiyan to defeat the Bob plus the rest of the Dallas fuel. Dynamite goes a little bit wide. And there it is. Bob available. Gets sent out. Doesn't get a knock up, but still providing covering fire. He is not in the best spot in the world, but it don't matter. It don't matter. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was in the archway. He was not. He was just chilling in the corner, which is the perfect spot. Well, that Edison was... still putting up numbers. I mean, that was such a good spot as well, because if you break down that play a little bit further, Fielder actually got behind Kaluj on that right-hand side room and shield bashed him All into the bomb. Yeah, what, oh, very ooh. quick play from the Dallas Fuel. They just want to take that high ground ASAP, leave Sparkle on the point because he has ultimate plus, can just double dash if he yep. already needs to to get to the front line of the San Francisco Shock. Five ultimates for SF, though, as they do make their way up the stairs. But I mean, all, is th all this is doing, Rose is just delaying the shot from getting a position where Kilo can just do immense amounts of damage. They do end up just brute forcing the issue. 5v4 on the high ground, so... Him result on a crazy amount. Oh. Now, Chio looking for the same thing Finn Maybe. was trying to do, but look at that, the shock just peeking around the edge, you see that? Well, yeah, they're, they're like, like nope. no. We know your tricks. <laughs> Can't do that to us, because we did it first. Oh, but Prepper actually going over. Oh. Okay. Oh. Speaking of which. Hanbin getting low? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it matters though, yeah, because Harbin got super low, so he couldn't actually go for that engagement. Sparkle James after proper uh, infinite deflect there, but once again, the duo of the century, Sparkle and Shio dive to the back line. A nice beat from Shio to stop that uh, anti-heal from affecting Harbin at least too much. A return rampage hits three on the shock side of things, but Bob's still doing a fair bit of damage, stopping the fuel from actually getting on top of the San Francisco shock. He's actually just chilling on top of the payload of all things. Violet does end up going down, and Where? now there's Fuel's chance to gain some positioning. I have no idea where that happened, but Violet down does remove that sound, uh, the speed 
from their their kit. And so, yeah, they've got to back up here and wait for Violet to come back online before they can go in and contest. At this point, too, Shock are relying on Proper's Blade to do work here when Edison has another Bob. That's just so much point presence for this final stretch of point B. Oh, can Proper get the Blade? I just keep reminding myself of the video of Krusty screaming, I can't lose this game, I can't. Well, unfortunately, Proper loses that game, that 1v1 versus Sparkle. And that Bob, yeah, that's... I mean, Shock just have to walk past that to try and contest. It ain't happening. The Dallas Fuel setting also a ridiculous pace against the Shock as they get that second point with three and a half minutes on this foundry phase. That is still so much time. Like, this is basically about the same time bank that San Francisco had walking into this third point as well. They took it so decisively and so quickly, and Dallas Fuel could very well do the same. They've got double support ultimates coming up here. Proper still hasn't used the blade, and I feel like he's starting to miss his window where it would have been ultra effective because Chio's sound barrier is not online yet. I mean, it's still not, so there could be time. A bit of reflected damage there by Proper. He tried to catch Sparkle out, but they dashed at the same time, so Sparkle just had gap and was able to get that uh, health back. All right, Fuel have both support ultimates. Finn lagging behind ever so slightly with 20% towards that rally. This might be play versus play, though. Sparkle 1% away as uh, Proper pulls his. A beat comes out, but Field is already dead. Way too late for Shio. And with Fielder going down, is Sparkle trying to play the hero? But no, Proper the villain takes care of Sparkle quite easily in that corridor. A lesser time back now, the Fuel are looking at with two minutes and 19 seconds as the payload almost rounded that final corner and the San Francisco Shock taking an aggressive position. I think San Francisco taking this position is great as well because they just have to stop Dallas I, they need a time bank advantage, anything to make sure that they can stay in this series. They also have the Rampage, which is just a huge thing to be able to engage with. Oh, especially with the stairs. Oh, don't get stuck here. That's a lot of damage. And Bob's ready. Could have been a five-man knockup, but putting Bob in that position, it's easy for Shock to disengage. Finn used the rally, same with Fielder, so they just trade support ultimates in that engagement. Might just be a Bob v. Bob, honestly, a Bob off. <laughs> Bob Is alone. off. Uh, oh, there's Bob. There's one. There's another Bob. <laughs> oh, the Rampage is kind of fat, though. Hit hard, been straight, square in the jaw, and a carnage in the corner. Oh, Kilo, he just pops his head around. There's no chance for the Dallas Fuel to survive there. Bob's didn't matter at the end of it all. It was all that carnage from Kaluj. Yeah, now though, wait. Oh, Edison, uh, okay. Edison's a soldier. Houndbun still has the rampage. Maybe this is what Dallas want to go with because you've got the rail gun that you can really use to charge up on shock when they want to play so close. And are they really going to be able to pivot their play style in time to deal with Edison's soldier? I don't know, Hanbin's got to lead the charge here. Wants the Rampage so badly. Ooh, four man from Hanbin. Rampage was absolutely massive. Can they follow up on these kills though? Shock have been good at disengaging. Not so much for Finn. Quite unlucky, in fact, as Sparkle now finding a lot of resets. He's already taken care of Kaluj and Kilo. Might just find the kill onto Proper. Yes, he does. Sparkle, who almost had a deadlift on Ilios, is really putting up the numbers still. But with 18 seconds to go and counting, the Dallas Fuel are going to have to swap to Doomfist to get back to the point and actually be present. The Shock have a blade coming up. Sparkle's so far away from his, and with 10 seconds to go, this is not looking good. Well, someone's got to go in and touch with Thrust in three seconds. There's the touch. Where's the follow-up? There's the touch. Proper just trying to farm that blade ASAP. He's gonna pull it. They know they don't. Oh, what a reflect! Edison tried to take him out, but Proper's already found one. The San Francisco Shock, determined not to go down without a fight, are gonna hope Dallas Fuel on the last point of Dorado, keeping themselves in the series. It is 2-1, still in the favor of the Fuel, but Shock want to continue and create that legacy. They are on the path to the reverse sweep. It could absolutely happen. With the rest of the maps that we have in this series as well, I feel like with Shock getting that bit of a confidence boost, 
that could really help to snowball these final two maps. Oh, we're in for such a good series. This has been such a good series. Everybody knew it was going to be a banger. Like, we all knew it was going to be a banger. Of course, Shock weren't going to go down that three. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> hey, Dallas got to Just like every one. anime. <laughs> Just like every single anime, the heroes end up falling. They get weakened and then they build themselves back up uh, to knock the villain for six. Who's the villain and who's the hero? That's really up to the fans to decide, honestly, at this point. We're going to jump to a, a quick break. Map number four on your screens in a bit.
Yeah, there he is. The lone man stands up against the Dallas Fuel. Proper and Sparkle with a top picks coming into today but it's been more on the hit scan right now for the dallas fuel in edison san francisco shock still keeping it competitive i mean you know rose like i said before we went to break of course this was going to go way more games than or oh, so way, way more maps than map number three dorado was the shocks um elios went the way of the dallas fuel in a close three round affair paricio went the way of the fuel see aliens i can't say it right no and you can't. Um, look Stop it. I can't. I, got, no, I, got, I gotta I know, stop you I now. It's been you like, were pretty good at it's it. It's been to like be three fair. times, Jaws. This I just you, oh, I stay just with me. Paraiso. Paraiso. Oh, yeah, there you go. Easy. Hey. All right. Easy game. Easy clap. <laughs> Another one checked off the list. It's the British accent. Hey, I promise. I mean, that's it what's really uh, is, though. I totally get it. <laughs> All right, everybody back in their seats. Um, we are going on to New Queen Street as our push map. We've seen a lot of completions on this map. I'm not quite sure we'll see that, especially at the caliber uh, of which the Shock and the Fuel are playing right now. But and, uh, no substitutions either. Of course, you see everybody kind of lined up already. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a close affair, always was. And someone that we've not really pointed out a ton either or um, spoke a crazy amount. It's been, you know, Edison going crazy, you know, uh, proper doing... Uh, insane things on the blades is Kilo sorry um, Hanbin and Kalush uh, the yeah. Junk Queens have also come up quite big with the Rampages there's been a lot of times where Kalush especially in the first couple of maps was kind of beaten down or, or either booped away by Shia or Filder stopping a lot of that value from the Rampage but on Dorado that was a completely different story really was I mean both of the Junker Queens they I, I just I really like looking at the, how they individually approach the hero um, especially when Shock as a whole, like they've had these differences in strategies of when to use the commanding shout. I think most evidently when we were looking at that was when we were on Ilios and we saw the Symmetra strat coming out from the Shock in order to get to point faster. And they didn't have to use the movement buff from the commanding shout right away. They could save that for a more opportune time. I mean, it, that's just kind of like those little things that we're seeing from both of these teams that make them top teams. All right, looks like we're going to jump into the game in just a moment. Looks like both teams are ready to rock and roll. Can't imagine there's going to be too many differences, but it will be interesting to see if Edison ends up playing the Ash or the Sojourn. He's yeah. he's straight towards the Sojourn at the very end of Dorado, uh, presumably for the Disruptor shot to try and get the fuel onto the high ground mm -hmm. and stop the shot from just beating them back with the Ash on a, in a decent position. Or if he goes back to the Ash, which he's been playing to a lot of success on, the first two maps. Uh. Kilo kind of did the opposite. Started on the Sojourn and then went to the Ash. We'll see what they both want to do. Feels like a very Ash heavy map though. A lot of long ash. sight lines for you to go sicko mode with. Definitely think the Ash is going to come out here. I mean, who can forget the incredible performances we've seen in Ash in the APAC region on this map? Like, yeah, some inhuman things can, can come out here. Yeah. So. MN3. Yeah. Inhuman. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah, you start proving me wrong. We still have 20 seconds. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's all good. They can change. It, it is still an interesting are... one, though. It is, yeah. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be too shocked. I mean, uh, at this point, it's kind of a coin toss which one they will go to. Have bigger minds than ours, so it looks like maybe the Sojourn for both of the teams. Sure. I was going to say, I wonder if that curling there, I wonder if anybody will actually make a game mode of it uh, one day. <sighs> That'd be maybe so they fun, will, like Lucio won't. curling. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. All right, Edison and Kilo both rung out on the Soja. Especially on this first bit here. The Dynamites are pretty crazy, but so is Disruptor Shot. You put it in the little choke point, stop the supports from doing much, True. get the damage down. Just don't get boops, that's oh, the challenge. Kilo's oh, Kilo is so super low already. Look at that, Sparkle tried to go in for the dash. They did manage to call it. Both commanding shouts used. Harbin actually booped off the high ground, so Dallas Fuel don't really have a front line. You can see Shock taking perfect advantage of that all already. Yeah, at this point, too, is a waiting game, though, to see who's going to get the first pick. Big commanding shout. Yeah, it's commanding shout and a speed boost. Thank you very much. Fielder just stood in the way of the carnage that was this first fight for the shock, and they get the bot going. There we go. Uh, the party is, is getting started now. 
Really wouldn't surprise me though if Dallas Fuel came back into this one with the sound barrier. Uh, maybe try to, to push that forward a little bit, use that a bit more aggressively. It's really weird to see that Dallas Fuel is actually behind the pace. Finn leading the charge with the rally percentage, not Fielder. So that's pretty stark contrast to what we've seen for the rest of this series. And that could be pretty big for the shock. Oh, Dallas just go underneath though. Yeah, they do. Kalush is pretty low too. He's definitely the target on the radars of the fuel right now. Fuel, ha uh, the shock have other plans though. Geo skirts too close to the sun. Does get burnt. Rob going pretty low. Commanding shouts heal all the way back up. Fuel bleeding quite heavily. Lose pretty much everybody. Tequila at the very end. And Shock just on a rampage. And uh, not the ult either. I mean, they didn't use anything in that fight. And they got mm. double DPS, double support ults coming up. Now, I mean, Kilo can just push so far forward as well to be able to grab these overclock kills. Uh, and this is why we like seeing the Sojourn in a lot of cases and, and why it's a bit more popular is because look at how far, like how quickly you can just delete somebody with a charged railgun. All right, there's the railgun, there's the beats, there's the blades, everything thrown in. Prop is holding on to his blade for the final moments, I can imagine. Geo's pretty low, the Dallas Fuel now very vulnerable to this blade from Proper. They have no overhealth. A good little shift there from Fielder, but Harbin's already dead. Sparkle gets cleaned up and the Dallas Fuel are still escorting the bot and still want to fight. Riley comes out, Fielder just engaged upon by the shock. They know they need to kill him. They can't let this overhealth build up, but Fielder somehow stays alive throughout the chaos. Kalush and Finn unable to pick up that kill. And in fact, Violet ends up going down. Somehow, some way, Fuel keep themselves in the fight and even get that bot going. Okay, Edison has just decided it's time to pop off on the Sojourn, apparently. I'm here for it. Dallas Fuel had to commit quite a few resources to this fight, but they made it work, and now they get a chance to try to match the percentage. They also took back the bot before Shock could cap the point. So now that checkpoint hasn't been unlocked yet, and Dallas could just go in with the rampage here. Edison's pumped the overclock as well. Shock are playing pretty scared now. They don't want to get blasted. Although, look at how far back the Fuel have played. Rampage, oh, oh hits the light post. It still manages to get Collusion Violet. That cone of damage is just humongous. Collusion does end up going down to Sparkle's shift and uh, so does Kilo. That was an unreal boop, whether that was Finn or Violet. I'm not entirely sure. In the thick of things, it's hard to tell, but he did wow. get booped, but still managed to tag two, enabling them to win that fight. And they might even get that butt scratch too. They're going to take the lead at Think least. So. No, they're going to get, I mean, no, Shocker it. trying, but they're just not going to be able to get there in time. You can see the immediate back off though of the fuel because the biggest thing here is that they took the lead back. Now they can give up some of that space to get into a better attacking position. Oh, that one hit the light post too, but the Dallas Fuel have the perfect response. Kaluj can't play in the front line as he uh, sent himself to the back line of the Dallas Fuel and Finn pays that price. And an expensive one at that and with proper dead. The Dallas Fuel were looking rather good. You win a fight here, you get so much space, Rose. You get so much uh, push on the bot. Yep. This a is a very important fight for them to win. Absolutely. I, I mean, this could just be a, a finisher in some cases. Sparkle has a blade. You you force the beat out of violence, but the rally's first. This ends now. It's the rally from Fielder and Finn. Shock have a beat to rely on if they need it, but the uh, Dallas Fuel, they know that they got to be aware. So they end up backing up. Losing no one here is pretty key. And in fact, the Dallas Fuel may be just going for a wrap. Yes, they are. Yep. Sparkle pulls that blade. He's got the commanding shout over healthy. He dashes straight towards Finn. He forces the beat out of Violet, but Sparkle's still alive and doing damage. Problem pulls a blade of his own and gets two with it. Sparkle still trying to equal him, but the blade is way too strong for proper. And the Dallas Fuel will end up going down. Oh, a little cheeky 1v1. Health pack? No, it wasn't a 1v1. 2v1 is proper, and Kilo take care of him. Okay, then. We've got Shock now with the comeback. I think the, with the bot. Oh, whoa. Where'd they go? Where's the bot? Is it moving? 
They, oh, they can't. They can't approach it. I mean, if they're tracking ultimates, then they know. They must know that Edison is so close to that overclock. They can't overextend here. Otherwise, they're just in this territory going to get their heads taken off. So Shock have to back up, play strategically around the subway, and see what they can get done. We see Edison trying to a little, a little jumping there. Kalush is in quite a precarious position. And in fact, Proper is actually half HP behind the Dallas Fuel. A nice body shot from Edison enables Fielder to clean up that kill. Fielder also taken pretty low. Remember, the Fuel are in the lead currently, so any time that they can burn here is all for their betterment. Now, with these straggling members of the Shock, the Dallas Fuel again control of the bot. They might not get any uh, meterage here, Rose. But winning this fight and forcing the Shock into yet another fight that they have to win is perfect for them. Yeah, Dallas, you'll just have to play to keep the lead. They, they don't need to extend any more, gain any more meterage. They just have to stop the Shock from taking that lead back. And it starts with the Rampage from Hanbin. And the Rally as well. Oh, what a knife, actually. Humongous knife. Followed up with an even bigger rampage. His Kilo and Finn. That rally over health is absolutely nothing compared to that uh, anti heal. 80 meters and counting for the fuel. They've got beat. They've got blade. And the shock are now relying on either a uh, pop off moment from Kilo's overclock, a Kaluj rampage hitting a few people, or Violet trying to build up that beat. Oh, it's a lot to have to try to rely on when you're just getting it online. You don't really have a chance to set up knowing those tools are already there. Because what if Dallas Fuel had gone in and just... Yeah, they're committing now. There's the blade. Oh, Sparkle receives that beat too. Kilo gets cut down. Proper's the next target. Hits the reflex so he doesn't instantly die. And now Sparkle is in no man's land in the back line of the San Francisco shot. Getting sent so low, but he gets healed up just in time. Fielder and Shio with a double. Double pocket onto Sparkle somehow keep him alive. There's a few meters to go and they might just full cap the shock. They might, and that, that would be it. That would end the shock's undefeated streak, Jaws. All right, Edison's nearing that overclock. And Proper's got the blade and Violet's got the beat. They've got the tools to get out of sport and touch that payload before they lock it in. Finn goes pretty low and he's actually already dead. He got stopped at the spawn doors. Proper's blade to try and end it all and try and turn this one back around, but it's not gonna happen. The Dallas Fuel are actually gonna do it. They're gonna burn the brightest they've ever burned before. And they're gonna push that bot to victory. The Dallas Fuel have done it. They've halted the most dominant regular season record in our history with this dub. A 3-1. And first place seeding in the summer showdown. They have finally dethroned the San Francisco Shock. If there was going to be a team to do it, it was going to be the Dallas Fuel with the undefeated record in their summer showdown qualifier so far. This was such a good match. Like, Shock were such a big test of strength for the Dallas Fuel. I, what a match. Holy cow. Expected a map five. Holy and cow. honestly, Rosen feeling pretty smart right now. The entire desk and the pickums predicted the Shock. In fact, 77% of the, uh, of the predictions ended up going with San Francisco. And Dallas Fuel came out on top. They've ended that gargantuan streak of uh, the Shock 2. They've locked themselves into the number one seeding going into the, the summer showdown in Toronto. They must be uh, just on top of the world right now. And yeah, like you said, it had to be the fuel. Like they've been so good in this meta. Both the teams came in undefeated into the into this match right. in the qualifiers uh, for the summer showdown. What an unreal game. I mean, the shock, they played exceptionally well. Prop had some crazy blades, um, some ridiculous cleanups. Finn even popping off on the brig with all the boops. But um, man, Edison, Sparkle, well, the whole gang, they toppled them. They finally toppled them. There was just so many bright moments from Dallas Fuel as well. Uh, it wasn't even about the individual pop-offs because absolutely we got some great Dragon Blades from Sparkle and of course Edison. Uh, could we just talk a little bit more about Edison really fast? Because I'm pretty sure this player Any day that we is, is just such a 
big fundamental reason why Dallas Fuel were able to get the win today. That Ash for the first half of the series was immaculate. Forced Kilo into such an awkward position of having to change off of that. And then despite all of that too on New Queen Street, the Sojourn play coming out from Edison. Just major pop off moments from this player. Edison, uh, like his history as a player has been so interesting because he's he's been on teams like G Super Sam Wave and he's always been the dominant player in that team in the matches, but he's never seen as great success as he's had in the Overwatch League when he uh, joined this year and joined the Dallas Fuel. He was always a hyped up player and I think it was only a matter of time before he came into the league and what a perfect team to come onto in the Fuel in the way that they have a dedicated hit scan player that can play up to these world class performance. Um, 10k, almost 11k damage per 10. You, I mean, you can see the uh, dynamite kills going crazy. Deaths yeah. pretty low, like high, but like pretty low considering. Uh, Bob kills did kind of go crazy too. <laughs> um, in in that matchup, that that Kilo versus Edison matchup, he took Kilo to town there. Um, the San Francisco Shock, they still look fairly dominant um, in in certain maps in certain places. Like Dorado was a very good showing from them and it was gonna be a close affair. And yeah, you look at it on paper, 3-1, the first couple of maps, <laughs> Ilios at least, it was like, okay, it's one way and then it's the other, and then it's a, a very, very close round. But yeah, I mean, the Dallas Fuel have done it. I just can't believe it. Uh, the San Francisco Shot currently wow. sitting at 17-1 and one in the regular season. And they both have booked their tickets a long time ago to go to the Summer Showdown right. anyway. But uh, number one seed for the Dallas Fuel, which gives them the opportunity to pick first on Sunday. Pretty big stuff for them. In the pick show. I mean, that could just be a, a big difference maker too in terms of how well you do for the summer showdown as a whole. So yeah, Dallas Fuel should be really happy with that and can't wait to see what they do with the pick. Oh man. My, I'm not gonna lie, my heart's beating, my hands are shaking. Yeah, I'm, like, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going right a little now. bit crazy right now. <laughs> the adrenaline is just absurd. I think we're going to take a break. We're going to jump to the desk where they can break out down the day a little bit more. Maybe have a cheeky interview too. <laughs> The Overwatch League is brought to you by Upper Deck, the official trading card of the Overwatch League. And by TeamSpeak, the official voice supplier of the Overwatch League.
in the gift. <laughs> Remember, if you do anything stupid on cam, it will become a gift. You are just f***ing this Got <laughs> like eight drinks at your f***ing table? Nah, it's fine. Please clean. You're f***ing dirty. Huh? This is five. Off the match, I'll clean. Yeah, please. <laughs> oh, give me your sh**. Ah, I'm sorry. You got out of the same. Oh, you got the mic too? I'm dead. Can we start licking the I don't can? know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. And he's just gonna do it. Going in. Actually? Shut up. Uh, you. I'm betting. Who betting? You. Today, I'm going to win. Win? Do you want to eat King Crab? I'm nine. Oh, I win. Okay. Oh, I won. I won. Steak and lobster today. Oh, I won. 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 Oh, I How to speak? Lakata? Lakata? Yeah, Lakata. 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 You know what it is? It's Rack Shut the f Lakata. Lakata. Why? I like him. <laughs> Do you know him? Yeah. How? I'm watching streaming. Is it a master cup? It's a sky cup. Oh. Bro, I've I've been sipping it like every 10, 15 seconds the past like five minutes. <laughs> and, and no, yes, and I'm I'm holding it perfectly so the cam can see it. You, you have no idea. I'm smart. Everybody, like, Kalan have a like pretty similar stab with the colors, so I feel like you guys are popping up first with them. <sighs> It'd be a hard game, so uh, hey, you yourself, man. Four. You so thank yeah, you. King Gap, can't we? Oh my uh, god. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, it's similar. Uh, it's similar. Uh, 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 Who is Krawi? Look at the ego on this guy. It's like space version 2. No cap. Baby, don't cry. No, I'm gonna cry. I'm not trying this match. I hate all of you. Yep, yep, yep. Welcome back. <laughs> Guys, it wasn't just me that was dancing. Everyone else was dancing, but I was just on camera. Anyways, welcome to the Watch My Post Show, everybody. I'm here with Hanbin from Dallas Fuel uh, for the post-match interview. Hanbin, uh, what a crazy game. I mean, and you guys were popping up. You and, and just Dallas Fuel, you guys were just firing on all cylinders. So I want to ask you, 
this stage and this meta, you guys have been finding so much success. Um, how are you able to do that? Do you think you guys are really? I think. Do you think this meta is sort of made for you guys? 자, 첫 번째 질문은 오늘 승리 축하 드리면서 어, 센 쇼기 연승을 이제 끄는 것도 달라스 피어인데요. 오늘 어떻게 보면 오늘뿐만이 아니라 지금 현 메타와 지금 스테이지에서 어, 달라스가 굉장히 좋은 성적을 내고 있는데 이게 좀현 메타와 지금 달라스의 플레이 스타일이 좀잘 맞아서인 거야? 아니면 이렇게 좀 잘할 수 있게 되는 계기가 있다면 뭐가 있을까요? 어 일단은 정커킹 조합이 되게 팀합이긴 하잖아요 뭉쳐서 다니면서 약간 정커킹 시프트 받고 한 번에 포커싱하는 그런 조합이잖아요 그래가지고 약간 저희가 한 마음 한 뜻으로 약간 약간 정신 개조 당했다 해야 되나 그렇게 해가지고 한 마음으로 그냥 한 명을 포커싱 해가지고 지금 조합이 저희한테 잘 맞는 것 같습니다. I think the reason because uh, reason that uh, we're doing so well in this current meta is because Junker Queen meta currently uh, it's all about teamwork. Uh, you press the uh, Junker Queen shift, all of your teams go in, focus on one person or one player, and that's how you win the team fight. I think uh, the biggest plus for that for us is uh, becoming one, having sort of the one body, one soul mentality for the Dallas Fuel. That's what we're really good at, and that's why we are flourishing currently uh, in this current meta with the Junker Queen. All right, talking about Junker Queen though, um, you know. There's a lot of talks about who, which player is the best Junker Queen, and your name, of course, Hanbin, is is up there as well. Do you personally see yourself as the best Junker Queen in the Overwatch League? 자, 어 Junker Queen 얘기가 나와서 또 하나 질문을 하고, 하자면은 어 요즘 이렇게 좀 Junker Queen 누가 최고의 Junker Queen인가라는 질문이 좀 많이 도는 것 같은데 한빈 선수가 보시기에도 좀 이렇게 최고의 자기 자기 자신이 좀 최고의 Junker Queen이라고 좀 생각을 하시나요? 어 제가 원래는 이런 말잘안 하는데 정커킹 나오고 지금까지 전보다 잘하는 정커킹은 없는 것 같아요 제가 스크림 하면서 어, 다른 정커킹 하는 선수들한테도 와너 진짜 잘한다 이런 소리도 많이 들었고 오늘 같이 경기한 콜로지 선수도 저한테 기, 긴 말로 저한테 그랬거든요 와너 정커킹 왜 이렇게 잘하냐 이번만큼은 겸손하지 않겠습니다 <웃음> Alright uh... I usually don't say this and I don't like to really boast, but um, I do believe that I am the best Junker Queen. Uh, after scrims, a lot of I in scrims or even when I play on stage, even, uh, even for today, Kaluji even told me that I was really, really good. And a lot of different players said that I was really good. And I honestly uh, haven't seen anyone after Junker Queen's release that could top me for the Junker Queen. And lastly, finally, uh, my final question for you, Hanbin, is, you know, uh, with this win, you guys are now in the number one seed for the tournament. So, I, I mean, uh, Johnny asked this question to a different team, but I'm gonna ask you this question. How are you going to celebrate today for getting the number one seed for the tournament? 자, 마지막 질문은 오늘 이제 승리로 인해서 이제 이번 토너먼트 1위 시드로 들어가게 되셨는데요. 어, 오늘 어떻게 좀, 좀 어떻게 좀 즐기신 거, 즐기실 건가요? 아무래도 오늘 승리가 아무래도 좀 뜻깊은, 뜻, 뜻깊은, 죄송합니다. 어, 좀 승리라고 생각을 하기 때문에 네, 오늘 좀 어떻게 어, 오늘 밤을 어떻게 좀 어, 보내실 생각이신가요? 어, 일단은 저번 정규 시즌에서 쇼크한테 한번 졌을 때 그때, 그때는 진짜 두발 뻗고 못 잤는데 오늘만큼은 진짜 그냥 진짜 발 뻗고 잘수 있을 것 같습니다. 그냥 편하게 자는 게 목적이었어요, 오늘은. Alright. Uh, so last time we played against the San Francisco Cisco Shock in the regular season uh, and we lost to them I really couldn't get a good night's sleep. Uh, that really bothered me So I think the fact that now we I could get a good night's rest had a good night's sleep today uh, I think is how I'm going to enjoy the night for today. All right, Hamid, that is it for the questions Thank you so much for your time and big congratulations on the win. 자, 오늘 승리 축하드리면서 인터뷰 마치도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 바이바이! 감사합니다. Woo! Oh, let's yeah, go, let's Devin! Go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Chapman! Woo! That was great. That was that, so good. I got baited. I got baited. <laughs> we all just, we were just jamming out to the to the beat, and then I just I just missed my cue. Yeah. Hey, you recovered so well. Had that job. been me doing the interview, I would have cracked up, I would have been thrown off guard. You, but you just like, hey, I'm bit. You know, tell me about the mash, and you just yeah. picked it up right up. That was no, great. I bet mean, Hanbin was. I mean, right now after that interview, Hanbin was cracking up too. I was like, "What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Is he? Love does it. he dance yeah. all the time when he's like, right. when, he, when he's telling me the questions? Like, all right, Hanbin, I'm gonna ask you this and this and this. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> hey, those break tracks, they're bangers. You know, they're they good. Are. They got good they beats. Are. This match.
was a banger too. I mean, San Francisco Shock, unfortunately, their the win streak ends here. And, you know, Proper and them, they, they try to get the win, but it really didn't happen because uh, Dallas Fuel, Edison, Yo. was just... Let me, I want to talk wow. about Hanbin first because that was some Chad answers right there. It's like, oh yeah, you know, am I the best Joker Queen? Yes, I am. Everyone else tells me all the time, so I have to be. And no, like, but he, he said he usually doesn't like to boast. Yeah, yeah. I know, but like, but. we have to hype him up because players yeah. don't usually want to hype themselves right. up too much. He is, in my opinion, the best Joker Queen in the world. He's just his daggers, the way that he plays, the way he understands the limitations of the hero is just absolutely ridiculous. But the big player that stood up for them, that we don't really expect as much, was Edison, Edison. as you oh said. On that Ash, moving to more of the Ash than the Sojin, some, sort of a change for them, he was lights out. He was putting on an absolute clinic of how you should be playing the Ash. His opening picks, he was just forcing Kilo into bad positions time and time.